Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to test the Altec 416-8B 15-inch woofer, or 16-inch woofer as uh, it's classically referred to as. Now, this was sent to me by a customer that has commissioned me to design kind of a complete system and do the crossover uh, for everything. Uh, the first to arrive were these base cabinets, which are uh, 100 liter sealed cabinets. And uh, so the 416-8B uh, retails for $1,709 US each. So they are not cheap. Uh, it uses the Alnico magnet, quite a large Alnico magnet, edge wound, aluminum voice coil. So there's a lot of tech, a lot of history in these drivers. And so in this video, I'm simply going to do frequency response measurements outdoors. And I brought it indoors to do the distortion measurement. So we're gonna do full test of, full set of test data on this driver and see how it does. Um, so there you can see some photos. It's a very nice uh, looking driver. It's got high quality uh, front mounted cork gasket. Um, so let's start with the impedance curve here. So you can see with the 100 liter cabinet, we're getting the um, tuning at 80, sorry, 70 hertz. And so there's not much uh, to report here. Uh, just the inductive rise and then you can see that the breakup uh, in the diaphragm starts to occur at around uh, 1900 Hertz so uh, so outdoor frequency response at one meter so you can see here that we actually have a really flat linear response uh, up to around 1k and then as we start to approach the breakup of the diaphragm it starts to get a little bit uh, up and down with some irregularities in the response uh, but we do see a flat response down to 100 Hertz and then we see the typical um, I believe it's a 6 dB per octave slope anyways it's actually not so it's more like 12 12 dB per octave there that would change indoors uh, with boundary reinforcement probably change it to a 6 dB uh, per octave slope so um, looking at time domain, this was uh, done outdoors as well with no gating. So you can see that it does have a very clean burst decay uh, until we get up into the upper region there. So that's actually quite impressive. Same with the CSD plot, um, very fast clean decay uh, through its passband. So very impressive. Um, looking at distortion, so I tested harmonic at 85 and 95 dB at one meter. And so you can see, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna refresh my browser here because I, so at the 85 dB uh, at 100 Hertz, the second harmonic is only 0.02%. So extremely low uh, harmonic distortion. H3 was a little higher, uh, but again, we're just um, purely academic here at 0.12%. Uh, uh, increasing the test SPL to 95 dB, uh, we see the H2, let me just make sure I got it right here. Actually, it's H3 uh, dominant in the uh, type of distortion that we are seeing um, with H3 at 0.4%. Now, still academically low, inaudible. Um, the main thing here is that the harmonic distortion products are very consistent and even across the bandwidth. And so... Uh, we tested intermodulation distortion using a 12 band per octave uh, multi-tone test signal at both the 85 and 95 dB test uh, SPL at one meter. And so you can see here um, from 50 to 50 Hertz to five uh, kilohertz, that's the test tones that I used. We see that IMD is at minus 68 dB for the base region. Um, and then at 600 Hertz here, you can see it start to rise a little bit. So we're at minus 50 dB of dynamic range uh, for the uh, kind of the mid, mid range aspect, but it does drop down a little bit until we get back up into the, the breakup region of the, of the diaphragm. So uh, as we increase the test SPL to 95, uh, we see minus 60 db for the for the base region uh minus rising to minus 42 db uh for that 60 or 600 hertz region um so so i decided to test the driver 
with the test tone starting at 100 hertz instead of 50 hertz and so we see the IMD improve in the 100 hertz region to minus 73 dB so we're seeing a 5 dB improvement um, in that in that 100 hertz region when we do the uh, high pass with the test tones so these are extremely low uh, distortion figures and uh, might uh, explain why this driver has such a strong following uh, again I tested it at the higher test SPL 95 dB and we see that we're still low at minus 68 dB <laughs> so these are really good numbers um, so conclusion on this the uh, Altec 416 8B maintains ultra low intermodulation distortion uh, particularly within the 50 50 to 400 Hertz region uh, we see a very linear frequency response right up to the mechanical breakup of the diaphragm which starts at around 1.8 kilohertz um, in an ideal use case scenario the woofer should be low pass filtered at 500 Hertz uh, however I could envision this driver doing well up to 1.8 kilohertz if a steep filter is implemented uh, and assuming the driver was used at moderate listing levels so that's it uh, for today, Altec 416-8B in a 100 liter sealed enclosure. So take care and have a great day.